Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gray Beer Garage. My name is Matt, and today we're out front of our home here in uh, the Tampa Bay area, and we are going to be working on cleaning up our garden out front here. This wood is seen better days. So we're going to get rid of all this crap here. We're going to cut it all out, stack it up, put it in some garbage cans and get rid of it. And then we're going to run across the street to our hardware store, pick up some new lumber, and then we will assemble the, the new bed and um, maybe do a little weeding, get this kind of straightened up, and do a little bit of spring cleaning today. So guys, come along for the ride as we go ahead and clean up our flower bed out front. All right, so as you can see, a lot of this is trash already. Like, I don't even have to cut this stuff. It's already rotted out pretty good. So we'll just take this stuff and kind of stack it off to the side. And then we'll work on trimming this down into more manageable pieces. And then we'll go from there. Alright, pretty easy when it's rotten. We got some screw, big old screws in here. We want to make sure we don't uh, leave those laying around and get in our tires later. Because I just spent a lot of money on new tires. Alright, well, let's keep going. A lot of this is just going to break up, I think. Yeah. Well, it's really rotten. And there's a lot of ants. So, cut this in half, I guess. And we'll just move that out of the way. <laughs> wow, ton of ants. Oh yeah, messy, messy, messy. Oh yeah, there we go. Now if I can get my button shot with some nice crack action, that'll be perfect. All right, here we go. Keep cutting. This blade is, this is probably this blade's last hurrah so it's definitely seen better days and it's been in the dirt a lot so that probably doesn't help all right just making sure you guys can still see what we're doing here go ahead and cut this piece here look at that oh, it's almost like I know what I'm doing Super garbage. Super garbage. You know, I've been called a hack on YouTube. And today I truly am. I'm just hacking everything up. So that's fun. Oh, yeah. That blade is on struggle bus. Man. Let's get this thing out. Whew. All right, let's see if we get this last two to cut. So I would maybe burn this stuff, but it's so wet and rotten. I don't think it would ever burn. And if it did, it'd take forever. So, it's a small enough pieces, and I have a lot of garbage cans. So, I think that's what we'll do. So, let's see here. And, as you can see, we're moving on down the line. Slowly but surely. I may have to switch this blade out faster than I thought, because it's, it's on the, definitely on its last leg. All right. Now we're getting there. Oh. I hate the way that makes my hands and arms feel. It just vibrates. They feel numb, like like when they fall asleep. 
not a fan of that at all. Never have been. All right, let's switch our spots here. Oh my goodness. So the boards kind of continue right up to the end. But we're pretty close. A couple more cuts. I think we'll be good. So let's see if we can make this blade last a little longer. Two. I'm waiting for my black snakes to come flying out of here. We have a lot of black racers. And uh, I rather like them. Because they eat rodents. So. Alright, let's cut here. Alright. Got a little trash, a little wood. It's a cornucopia. Of garbage. Man, this stuff is just seen better days. Whew. Garbage everywhere. So we're out on a on one of the main roads through Pinellas County. And uh the front yard's constantly full of trash. As people drive by and throw their garbage out the car window. Or people's garbage cans blow trash out of them when it's windy. So I find all this kind of kind of crap everywhere. CVS bags, because you know there's a CVS down the road. Sam's Club. So you know we gotta have all that trash flying around too. So, all right. All right, let's cut this piece. Oh. A couple cuts here and we'll be good, I think. There we go. Big old screws. All right. Whoo. I think one more section and we're good. So, all right, let's turn around here. That last piece is going to be there. So, these are weeds. These need to come out. General maintenance. <laughs> Yay, love it. And the bees are probably not going to be happy because I'm taking their flower things away from them. Wow, that is a that's a monster weed. Holy Moses. Alright. So we gotta get this out here. And that's rotten enough, it just falls out. Looky there, looky there. Nothing left. Well. I'm going to have to go get my rake. We'll rake that out. Let's cut this end off. Here we go. There we go. Alright. I'm going to go get some trash cans. We'll load this garbage up. And uh, then we'll get our rake out here. And then we'll get some of this excess stuff out of the way. Did I get this? Hmm. Cut that root. Section out. Man, look at that. Holy cow. Good night. It's crazy. It's all root. Man, that's going to all have to come out. That should do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I love it. Whew. All right. You guys stay here. I'm going to go get some garbage cans. All right. I have one garbage can here. I'm going to start stacking some of this crud in there. That was a
was a nice Camaro that just went by. All right, let's move on down the line to here. Now we can't go too heavy on these because the garbage men will cry. It's too heavy. And then they'll leave it. And then I'll have to break it down into smaller pieces. So I've got, I don't know, five garbage cans or something. So we won't go too heavy on each one. I hope. Well, let's see. How's that? Oh, that's not bad. If I can move it, anybody can move it. There you go. Go grab some more garbage cans. Okay, okay, here we go. Garbage can number two. Oh. Springtime in Florida. It's allergy season. Love it. Love it. So, make sure I'm not giving you guys butt crack. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. These aren't real heavy, they're sort of rotten. Alright. Drag these out front. Alright, here we go. Garbage can number three. Garbage can. Trace. That one's a little longer than it probably should be, but maybe we'll cut that in half. Yeah. We'll cut that one in half. It's another thing they don't like. They don't like them things taller than the garbage can. Okay. Two for one. Oh, that one's close. Ow! Ouchie! Ooh. Ow. I don't know if that was a splinter or a screw. It hurt either way. Man, that gun it. Son of a gun hurt. Alright, how are we here on weight? Uh, let's see. I think we'll cut those in half. Alright, so we are on garbage can number four. Quattro garbage can. And I think I'm going to cut these pieces in half because they are a little long. So, let's cut these in half real quick. Huh, they're about ready to fall apart anyway. What? Why are you doing that? I think I made more of a mess than anything. It all broke up into chips. Well, that sucked. All these ants, holy Moses. All right, well, I need to go get my steel rake. And rake all this crap out. And, and I'll probably make my way over to the hardware store. Gonna go down here and start at the end, I guess. That's where I started cutting everything up. And I guess we'll start trying to rake out some of this crap. Good grief. Plenty of darn roots. 
I hate this darn bush. We'll try and pick up as much as we can by hand. Then I'll go, I got some like little yard claw things. And I'll go get those to get up all this really fine stuff, I guess. Or as much of it as I can. It's just almost like coming out like mulch. See, there are still even big pieces in here, which is nuts. Huh. Well. All right, well, that's... We're going to call that good. At least for here. That one's getting heavy. Time for another can. Okay. One more can. And then we're good. All right, so there's another pile behind the trash can here. No, not really piled. Little bits and pieces. But we're going to go ahead and rake out from under here. We get all this old board out. Get it nice and cleaned out and leveled. And that way I can put the new boards in there. And everything won't be too cattywampus. Been nice. Okay. Ah. Oh. Well, that's in there good. Holy smokes. Man. Jeez. Huh. A lot of roots in there. That's a magnet. That's one of probably my son's magnets from when he was a kid. That's funny. Alright, so let's pick this up. Put that in there. Try and get all these chunks. Alright. So. Now we just gotta get underneath these, these sea oats. <coughs> I don't think you're supposed to eat it, but whatever. Well, can't really see under there, so hopefully I'm getting it all. Ooh, look at that. Well, I definitely did not get it all. Oh. All right. Well, now you guys might get butt in your face. I'll cut that back. Otherwise, it might be a little difficult putting down the new boards. So. Whew. 
Well, that's not bad. That didn't take too long. It certainly looks better than looks better than rotten wood. So there's that. All right. Cool. Well, I like it. Be nice. Okay, guys. So now you can see we got these edges nice and trimmed up. You can see where the old board was. We got all that trimmed up. Pulled some weeds. So now we can put our new trim boards in. This week, I think we'll do them today. And then, and then we need to get some mulch. So we'll probably buy some mulch because it's on sale. So we'll get some mulch, kind of make it look pretty again. And that's it. Next step, new trim. Okay, so now we are back from the store and we're gonna unload this lumber. And then we'll drop it in place. We'll work our way down the line. So we'll start here at the beginning. I might have to cut this out a little bit here to make it fit better. Nope. That's right up to the edge. Perfect. All right, so there's our first one kind of set in place. Try and get it to lay a little flatter. All right, well, let's get a couple more in line here and we'll start figuring it out. Get these things to butt up. Now these things are horrible. They're all twisted and bent and warped. I mean, they're just absolute garbage. They are junk. So it's not gonna look perfect, but it'll look better than what it was. That's for sure. So we'll get these lined, lined up, running down the line here. So move that so you guys can see where we're going. All right. And again, we're going to try and get it as straight as possible, but there's only so much you can do, you know what I mean? So, so that's three. I got 15 of these, so at the end here, I might cut a half of one here, like cut a half and then stick it in here, and that'll push it to the end, down there, and then um, that way it'll go all the way to the end of that bush. I'll have to pick up a couple more to go down that side of the bush, but yeah. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll take one of these and we'll cut it in half. And um, this should get us where we want to be. So let me get a tape measure and a square and we'll do that. All right, so we'll do it here on the truck. These are supposedly eight feet long. Which means they're seven and three quarters probably. Oh my God, they're actually eight feet. All right, so we'll mark this at four. And we'll cut that in half.
And then we'll move this and turn you guys around. Yep. All right. So, let's slide this down. I was kind of hoping this would be just drop them on the ground and go, but nothing's ever that easy, right? I mean, come on. So. And you know, something else to think about. These are $6.58 here, and we live in Pinellas County. Florida, which is probably one of the most densely populated counties in Florida, right? There's four, four lows within 10 miles, 20 miles. There's at least that many. And these are 658. The lows up by my property in Live Oak, Florida, where the population is, I, I don't know, in the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands compared to here where it's in six or seven million people they're two dollars cheaper now i'm sure that has something to do with possibly being in a rural maybe it's because it's more rural there but i don't know i don't know i can tell you i'm not a fan of paying two dollars more for the same exact product. Especially when a store that's, you know, essentially a couple hundred miles from me is two dollars cheaper per pound, or pound. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh oh. Ah, that's not that's not great. Crap on a stick. Uh oh. I think I may have cut a wire. That's not good. I did not. I don't know what that wire is for. So, we'll keep on moving. I don't know what that's for. Must have been something my dad was going to do back in the day. I don't know. I didn't put it there. gets us where we need to be. Okay, let's take another look. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But that, that's pretty decent. So, let's take a look down the line, shall we? Yeah, not bad, right? Close. I mean, I'm not bringing a laser out to do it. I don't think I even have a laser, to be honest. So anyway, I'm going to start here. I'm going to put that half piece here. And that's going to let us um, offset these boards. We start here. 
and this will let us offset the boards. So I got some screws to hold these together. Here it goes. It must be an accident at Sam's Club, like there is every weekend. So this screw, these screws give you this little T, I think it's a T25 bit. So put that in here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's start our first one here at the end. Get this thing kind of perfectly perfect, sort of. Okay, now we get our next one on. And so from here on out, there'll be full pieces on this row. So let's get uh, this next one set up. All right, that looks pretty good. Not too bad, right? Let's grab a couple screws. Okay. Put one here at the end. These kind of push back, kind of parallel with each other. Okay. There we go. Now we'll put a screw here to lock this one in. That'll lock that lower board in, and then we'll put one here, and that'll lock that board in, and then we'll put one here. That's what we'll do down the line. All right, let's get this. Trying to get these looking about as straight as they can get. Bring our screws over. That way I don't have to keep walking back and forth. Grab like four. Okay. Do one here. Okay, so we got to do. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Uh oh. Crap. Grab on a stick. I wonder if I should have just done. No, I need to cut another one in half. So I want to make sure I get a good overlap. And that one's not overlapping, it's buttoned up to the end of the other one. So let's pull this. And let's cut one. Huh. I'm wondering if I should have taken that small piece out and put it at the end. I'm wondering if that would make more sense. Hmm. Then that way I'm going to get a full overlap. All the way to the end. So let's try that. It might take a couple shots, but we'll get it there. We'll get it figured out. It's not rocket science. I don't think. Alright, so let's lock this one in. Oh. 
don't know if you guys can see where I'm at. We're working down here, trying to get this kind of straightened out. And it's still kind of coming out this way. Let's just give it a little tap. Okay. Take another quick look. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but I mean, I want it to at least look decent. So now we'll put another full piece on. All right, that should get us about where we want to be. Let's get another full piece. Okay. locked in. Oh, that actually looks pretty darn good. So let's see. We can move you here. Right? So you can kind of see where we're at down here. Alright. So this one we'll lock in our short piece at the end okay perfect let's see how we get this to line up All right, so what I'm going to do is put this one in, then I'll wiggle the board in the back to make it make it right, and then we'll put that one in. So let's we may have to wiggle and jiggle a little bit here. Yep. So let's go ahead and lock this end in. Yeah, not bad. I do need to lock in these two pieces here. All right, so there's two rows. Oh, heavens. All right, so now here, let's see if I can get this focus out a little bit. All right, so here you can see the bottom is a full piece and the top starts with a half. So we're going to start this with a, this top piece with a full piece and then we'll we'll probably have to make a uh, cut somewhere. But uh yeah, so let's do it. Actually, I don't know. We may not have to on this one. Now that I'm thinking about it, because this one should just run the five pieces straight along. So we, I don't think we're going to have to cut this row. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just kind of get this lined up a little better here. All right. That's good. So we'll lock this end. And then, and then we'll probably put one in the middle just to help stabilize everything these two are already locked into this one so that's just gonna lock that in so it doesn't warp and kind of work its way you know in or out making it weird looking so <clears throat> You know what, let me put this down. 
makes it easier to carry a full board. All right, let's turn you guys. All right, here we go. We'll go out. All right, so now you can see where that next one's going. Get that in lined up as best we can. Okay. Now let's go ahead and screw that in. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to finish with a half cut. Definitely. Uh, that's so I was right. I just doubted myself. And then we need to cut four footer. That'll get us done. Actually, I'm going to do some end pieces too. But first, the four footer. So let's go ahead and measure. Sorry, I'm over here behind you. Hey, come with me. Let's go down here. Let's stick our heads in the bush. Yeah. So, got that on. Kind of get it. Sort of right. Better than sort of wrong. Okay, cool. Screw that in. We have our three tiers. I have a piece and a half left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cap on that end and I'll put a cap on this end here, here, kind of just to jazz it up a little bit. And then um, I gotta cut a couple pieces of pipe I'm going to drill a hole straight through and then I'm going to uh, pound that in so these don't like fall over. I mean they shouldn't but you never know. So, alright. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That one Here. So I think what we're gonna do is put that board there, not that tall obviously, we'll cut it down so it doesn't look goofy. But I want to stand it up at the end here. Just to kind of finish finish this end off. And I think it'll look, I think it'll look pretty good that way. I think it's gonna want to lean in a little. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. But so what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll just cut it off. I don't know, probably right about there. And I'll cap it off and make it look nice. Yeah, something like that. Looks good for my porch. Oh yeah, let's go take a look. Look at this. I mean, come on. Nothing says class like an end post. All right, so I gotta go get my post hole diggers because I want to dig down a little bit over there. So I'll be back. Okay, let's go on a field trip. All right, so I'm down here. I'm trying to dig a post with my pulse hole diggers. And I literally get down, I don't know, four inches? Oops. Oops. All right. I literally get down like four inches. There's a block down here, like a piece of cement. 
Look at that. That's the weirdest thing. I have no idea what that is. Not a clue. I don't know. No idea. Not a clue. Anyway, isn't that weird? I have no idea where that came from. So, let's continue on, shall we? Oh my god, is that more? Is that a tree root? Huh. I wonder if this is where they dumped all the construction crap when they were building the house. That's another like block or some that. What in the world? that? Worse than that. Huh. What the heck? Well, sheesh. Huh. Well, I can't really have it there because I need to put my uh, post there, so. Huh. There we go. Weird. I mean, it's not crazy weird, but it's just weird. Let me make sure we're still straight. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think we look pretty decent. All right. Well, let's see if we can dig this hole. Isn't that bonkers? I know when they build homes, they used to like dig a pit and they throw all their construction trash in the pit, you know, instead of hauling it away. So, I don't know, whatever. And there's more. And we're down at least a foot. Maybe a little more. Alright. I'm gonna go get my board. See how deep we are. There's even more cement in there too. Alright. I think we'll just keep digging. And we don't have to cut. And this thing will be locked in. Real nice. Alright, let's see where we're at. Oh yeah. Let me measure that end. Because I think that's only a couple inches above. How far are we above here? About six. Almost. Man. That's a pretty good estimate. So we need about four inches more out of the dirt. A couple grabs. Get us where we need to be. All right, drop this in. Pretty close. Now that's three. I'm gonna call it. Call it good. All right, so I'm gonna go get. Get my drill and screws. Oops, 
I almost broke my ankle. Nope, need screws. Uh huh. There we go. Went ahead and dug another hole there. We're gonna put another piece of um, piece of trim behind there. My son likes to come home and bump his truck against these, so really don't want to really don't want to break. So we're at um, about 25 inches. So we're gonna go cut a 25 inch piece and then we'll be back. All right, so we got our board cut to 25 inches and you know, I don't want it sticking over the top. So I'll probably just dig that out a little bit more. <clears throat> Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> okay, man, geez Louise. Minor injuries. Holy crap. Oh, so again, we'll tamp this in. As best as we can. Good enough. Looks good for my porch. All right, so I think we're gonna do another one right here. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us here today on Graybeard Garage. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It's uh, nothing real exciting, just some general kind of house maintenance stuff a little bit of spring cleaning going on got that spring clean in the air right so just a real simple project under 100 bucks for everything that we did here today um other than a little bit of uh sweat equity in this it looks pretty good i think um but yeah hopefully i won't have to do it again for another 15 years all right guys thanks so much for joining me today here on Graybeard garage as always my name is matt if you guys like this kind of content, give us a thumbs up. If you think this is something that someone else might find interesting, please feel free to share this video with them. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribers, please consider doing so as it does help the channel out greatly. For those of you that are subscribers, we thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and being part of the journey, whether it's at home here or with our chickens or whether we're on the property working up there with tractors and all kinds of other cool stuff. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We'll see you here next time on Gray Beer Garage. As always, my name is Matt. Remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. We'll see you next time.